In this tutorial, I'm going to build upon work we did in a previous session where I drew a start-stop circuit to illustrate how to build ladder logic using Seascape. In this session, I'm going to show you how you can use function keys and touchscreen push buttons to replicate the functionality of hardwired push buttons. Now let's replace our hardwired start push button with a function key. In the OCS, function keys are mapped to a special memory type called percent %k. So function key 1 is mapped to k1, function key 4 is mapped to k4, etc. So all we have to do to replace this hardwired push button in the logic is just change the address from i1 to k1. That's all there is to it. Now let's use a push button on the touch screen instead of a function key as our start button. We're going to start by going to the graphics area in Seascape. What you see here is the screen editing area of an XL4, which is the controller I'm using in the project. Up here in the icon area, I'm going to go ahead and click on the switch object, then click and drag to the approximate size and location of my button. It doesn't have to be exact, I can always change it later. Now I double click on it to configure the button. Let's start with the address. Now in the case of a push button on the screen, it is not wired to a particular I.O. terminal, nor is it tied to a specific function key. So the address is flexible. It can be any available internal bit. Percent %t types are ideal because they are bit type memory addresses whose value is not retained through a power cycle, which is certainly not necessary for push buttons. I will assign T1, which is available. I will then give it a unique name. Now it is just a matter of finishing the configuration on this object, which is mostly changing the look and feel. Instead of a gray box, let's make it round and give it a 3D bezel. Let's also change its color. When it's on, let's make it bright green. When it's off, let's make it dark green. Now all that's left is to change the legend. Instead of button, let's have it say start. Okay, we're done. We've created a start push button on the touch screen. Now let's go back to the ladder logic editor. All that's left is to reassign the start push button to the touchscreen base button we just created. Let's find it on the list. There it is. Okay, we're done. We've now shown you how you can assign a normally open contact to a hardwired push button, an OCS function key, and a push button on the touchscreen. 